hey, sometimes the meta changes. Sometimes Pokemon are introduced and they immediately become very popular. Sometimes those Pokemon becoming popular makes Pokemon that weren't popular before better than they were previously. Uh, an example of that is since Venusaur was introduced, Venusaur and Sun teams became incredibly prevalent. Venusaur is very good. It can be put Pokemon to sleep. It's very strong. It's bulky. Um, there's a reason why Venusaur is used, right? Uh, an incredible counter to Venusaur is Escavalier because it quad resists grass. Um, and because of overcoat, it can't get hit by sleep powder. It also is immune to poison. There's really nothing that Venusaur can do to Escavalier because it doesn't even get hit in power fire anymore. Additionally, I thought how interesting would it be to also run it under hail to stop any sun shenanigans because what what is Venusaur always next to? A Torkoal or a Ninetales, usually a Torkoal. Uh, and that could do damage to Escavalier. So why don't we try and weaken that by also bringing hail, bringing a different weather element. Uh, and because of Overcoat, Escavalier doesn't even get hit by the hail, which is also pretty cool. Uh, additionally, Reuniclus. I've run under Hail and Sandstorm before because of Magic Guard. It does incredibly well. And since the Skyvalier is so slow, Reuniclus pairs really nicely with it, being able to set up Trick Room for it and assisting it in that way. Uh, Incineroar, additionally, uh, because the Skyvalier is going to be holding an Assault Vest, we want to boost the Skyvalier's physical defense or lower the opponent's physical attack, which is what Intimidate does so well on Incineroar and so many other Pokemon. Uh, and then Incineroar is also packing safety goggles to stop getting put to sleep uh, by sleep powders, but also it doesn't get hurt by hail when it's wearing safety goggles. Uh, additionally, Ninetales uh, is not just setting hail, it's also setting up Aurora Veil, which is going to protect Escavalier. Um, and there's also a fun thing you can do with Dragapult where since Ninetales has bad physical attack but it still gets Ice Shard, you can Ice Shard into Dragapult it's the same thing that you see so often in this gen. Uh, you attack your own ally, it's holding a weakness policy, and then that ally is much stronger now. Uh, and that's the idea with that Dragapult set right there. It's a physical Dragapult. And then the Ndidi set is actually a little bit interesting. It's not typically what you see on Ndidi's. It is a bold Ndidi, full physical defensive, full HP, uh, holding a Psychic Seed. So. Uh, when it comes out on the field, it's staying on the field for at least two turns, I would say. Really, honestly, you this thing doesn't go down very often at all, especially because it resists Ghost. Or it doesn't resist Ghost, it's immune to Ghost. Uh, Psychic Seed, if you don't know, it boosts your special defense in Psychic Terrain, which obviously NTD always has because it has the Psychic Surge ability. Uh, and obviously it's there to help protect Escavalier and Ninetales and everybody with Follow Me and assist with Helping Hand, and heal with Heal Pulse. Uh, Ndidi is a really good Pokemon, even if its design is, in my opinion, garbage. But you know what's design uh, I've actually grown on since using this team a little bit is a Skyvalier. What a weird looking Pokemon, but kind of fun, right? If Pokemon are gonna look weird, you want it to look like that. Anyway, if you're excited to watch uh, a Skyvalier take on the VGC ladder, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe before we begin. Uh, and speaking of, let's begin. Uh, Raichu, Charizard, Toxicroak. I love Toxicroak. I love seeing that guy out there. What's he doing there? Um, Snorlax, Gyarados, and Lapras. What's the Toxicroak doing? Is it going to come? Boy, why aren't you in Master Ball? Mateo, the new series just started, my friend. The new season just, like, just started like three days ago. Uh, and I have been playing Animal Crossing mostly. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I gotta make moves here. I gotta make moves here. I wanna set up... Uh, yep, Ndidi and Ninetales. Um, I think Escavalier is a good play just to help with the... Um, yeah, Skyvalier is definitely a good play here. We just gotta get rid of the... Ugh. 
We gotta stop that Snorlax somehow. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but I think Reuniclus and Skyvalier might be able to do it. Hmm. If we can get Trick Room up, we'll be in good shape. This is the same team we brought last battle, I think. Snorlax, Toxicroak. What is about to happen? I'm so, I'm so floored. Is it a weakness policy Snorlax with Vacuum Wave on the Toxicroak? That's what this is, isn't it? You can't Vacuum Wave when I have Psychic Surge up, sir. How dare you? Truly, how dare you? Um, but I can go for Psychic into uh, Toxicroak. The Toxic Croak slot, because they don't even have- oh, they have Incineroar. No, they don't. They're gonna take a Psychic. Somebody's gonna take a Psychic there, and I can Aurora Veil. Uh, weird, weird, weird. I do think it's that, that that's what that is. I think it's Vacuum Wave, Weakness Policy, Snorlax. Reuniclus is good. It is good. Are you still saying why I'm not in Master Ball, and I'm still using Reuniclus? Reuniclus is amazing. Uh, this team is getting me there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Here comes Raichu. Raichu's gonna take a Psychic. Uh, and we're gonna get our Aurora Veil up. I wonder if the... Snorlax is gonna go for Belly Drum. There's the Psychic. Nice. There's the Belly Drum. Not nice. Um, and that's going to pop their berry. They're probably going to max. I just got to figure out how I'm going to deal with that. Uh, how am I going to deal with the Snorlax now? I could try to Psychic the Raichu and try and switch into... Scavalier here. Man, I just don't know. No, I should try to switch into Reuniclus here. Man, I don't know. This is tough. Belladrum is better than Weakness Policy always. No, I know, but... Um, I know that. I was just wondering why, I haven't seen people use Toxicroak. And I was trying to figure out what it was gonna do. And I do think that they would have, if we didn't leave with Psychic Terrain, I think that they would have vacuum waved into Snorlax and I think that, oh no, Snorlax is Berry. So that's not what was happening at all and I was just wrong. And that's okay, that happens sometimes. Uh, that's not even going to kill Raichu. Here comes the G-Max Replenish. What's going to die? Reuniclus is going to die. That's fun. That's good. And it got its very back. That's great. Uh, it is going to get hit by Hail, though. Now we almost have to like wait for Snorlax to get... Watch this. Watch this. Follow me. Fell Stinger into the Raichu. Oh, please work. This would be so cool. Look at the look at the shadow on the guy's face. Is that because of the Dynamax? There's the Eerie Impulse into the Indeedee. Who goes first here? Okay. Snorlax goes first. That's good to note. 
Didn't kill. We get another. We get another round of um. Of follow me. Oh baby, dude, this could be so cool. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Indeed, he's gonna live hail. Okay. Do you just go right for the Snorlax, or do you wait a turn? No, we're slower, so we have to hit the Snorlax here. Gyarados is gonna lower our attack by one. I don't know if it'll if it'll do it. No, dude, we're not plus. Oh, we are only plus three. I thought it raised it. I, I thought it maxed it out. Oh, I was wrong. I was terribly wrong. Uh, but we can helping hand. And this will help us live whatever move they go for. Or no, we're not gonna. We're gonna under speed. Maybe they use Toxic Croak because it has dry skin. That's probably the, the uh, ability you'd run on it. Okay, so we're only at plus two with the Scavalier. I jumped the gun. Uh, that is not what Felstinger does. I do think we'll live one of these, though. Gators just went for Earthquake. Gators doesn't care. Here comes G Max Replenish. Oh, that's weak. We're definitely living this. Yeah, we're not even at under half health. Here we go, helping hand, max steel spike. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Oh man. This game was looking bleak a second ago. Okay, Nine Tails, come on out. Uh, Trick Room is not up, so Ninetales is going to outspeed Gyarados and get to go for a freeze dry. Uh, and there's the Toxic Rogue. Does it have Air Balloon? It does. Okay, so we can't go for a Max Quake. We can go for a freeze dry, though. We still have Psychic Terrain up, right? Still Psychic Terrain for one turn, and still Hail, and still Aurora Veil for one turn. Dude, this is amazing. Okay, and then we can definitely just Steel Spike into the Toxic Rogue. Kill it. Fake out, can't, Psychic Train's still up. That's why they let it, dude. They let it because of the fake out. There goes the freeze drag, goodbye Gyarados. And uh, I think if we took out a Dynamax, uh, Gigantamax Snorlax, I think uh, we'll have no problem with this Toxic Croak here. Dude, that game was awesome. The Sky Valier is so good. Holy cow. The Sky Valier just brought that back. Man. And we didn't we weren't even under trick room. We weren't even under trick room. Uh wow, great battle. Okay. Okay. Aaron. You played against an Aaron in the tournament. He was not nice to me after the game. He said I got lucky. And maybe I did get a little lucky, but I also played with a lot, a lot of skill and a whole lot more heart. Uh, okay, Duraludon, Lapras, Incineroar, Conkleder, Whimsicott, Togekiss. I think... Incineroar feels good. Incineroar... Uh... Maybe Incineroar... Um... Reuniclus? To get the Trick Room up. Because if we get Trick Room up, we're under speeding stuff. And even though Conkleder's there, I think we can... Let's lead Incineroar Reuniclus. And let's bring Escavalier and Indeedy. I think that's what you do in this scenario. Or... Yeah, let's do that. We could try to bring our nine tails, but I don't know. I have faith that we're gonna get Trick Room up, and our opponent 
just barely got their team in. Aaron, I was worried about you. Okay, Incineroar Whimsicott. And we lead Reuniclus and Incineroar. Um, what they could do, and I don't know if they have the right moves for it, but they could in, they could fake out our Incineroar and taunt Reuniclus. That's the biggest brain play they could go for. Or we could fake out and punch cut and try to get a trick room out. Aaron, don't do me like this, Aaron. If I can get Trick Room up, then uh, then the Scavalier looks real good. Max Quake the heck out of this Incineroar. Didi in the back, redirect. Okay, their Incineroar faked out my Reuniclus. Okay, so we're just gonna fake each other out. That's fun. That's fun. We're having a good time. Um, let us try to Flare Blitz Whimsicott and let us try to get this Trick Room up, dog. I don't know if Darkest Lariat would... Um, oh man, Trick Room would be so nice. Is Darkest Lariat going to kill me? Just don't. Just don't kill me. There we go. Reuniclus, you bulky little boy. You bulky little boy. Okay, amazing. Amazing. Uh, and now if Conk wants to come in, that'd be awesome, because I don't think I even lo uh, uh No, you know what? I might die to like an Ice Punch or like a Thunder Punch or something weird. Bring in the Conk. Bring in the Conk. Togekiss. Okay. I'm okay with that. Do I go for flash cannon or do I go for, or am I like real, you know? I want a parting shot the Incineroar because I want to have its attack be as low as possible when a Scavalier comes in. Ooh, how real am I? Thunder or flash cannon? Into the Togekiss. Or Psyshock. I should probably just Psyshock. I'm gonna Psyshock just because if it is weakness policy, I don't want to pop it. Uh, uh, what do we think this is? What do we think this is? Togekiss. Okay, what are you saying? Uh, your team is weak to Incineroar. Max Steel? No. It is weak to Incineroar unless you get Trick Room up because then you can actually... I mean, now Incineroar is not even the Dynamax Pokemon, so we know we can deal with it um, with Max Quake. Look how much that did. That's awesome. And there's the parting shot into their Incineroar. Who did they attack just now? It doesn't matter. Indeed is our play. And uh, hopefully they can kill... Hopefully they kill Reuniclus here with the uh, Darkest Lariat. That way we can get... Uh, our Scavalierian next. There's the Max Airstream. Okay, and D takes that very well. Uh, and likely they go for a Darkest Lariat. Knock out uh, our Uniclus. Yep. And now, ladies and gentlemen, and other people who identify otherwise, we can go into Big Boy Escavalier. Um, we should go for Follow Me to absorb this um, this Max uh, or not this Max this Flare Blitz that's coming out from the Incineroar. But 
uh, with a Steel Spike boost, we're living. And Cinnamar leaves. Which is actually their smartest play. They needed that. Uh, but I think it's too late, honestly. I think that um, with these boosts, we're going to be good to go. Oh, they went for the max guard. That was smart. Okay. Follow me. Everybody's like, we don't care. None of us are attacking. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I actually helping hand now and max steel spec into the Togekiss. Because if Incineroar comes back out in that lapper slot, then I don't know that uh, Steel Spike would automatically kill. And I'm not nervous about what Lapras is going to do to, uh, to Escavalier. Okay, nobody's switching. Here it comes. Big Steel Spike. That was always going to kill there. And yeah, let's find out what, uh, what that Lapras wants to do. Goodbye, Togekiss. Honestly, MVP of this game might seem like a Scavalier, but the fact that Renoclus lived that first, um... Oh, they're gonna go for Freeze Drag. If they freeze me, it's a big deal, but otherwise it's not. Okay, their Tailwind is gone. It's actually noteworthy. You bet Incineroar goes on Lapras. Yeah, that's what I thought they were gonna do too, but they didn't. And that's okay. Uh, and now all we do is Psychic Trains up, right? Psychic Trains up and Trick Room is still up for one more turn. We go for a Helping Hand Max Quake into the Incineroar. And uh, I think that sets the Scavalier to finish this game. Lapras is going to protect. Perfect. Perfect. Cinera can't fake out, Psychic Terrain is active. Uh, and it didn't matter anyway because we already got the move off. There goes Incineroar. We get the special defense boost. Uh, Trick Room's over, but it's not going to matter because we can just follow me and Iron Head. Until it's all over. Uh, or we can helping hand Iron Head until it's all over. Really? Uh, let's go, let's helping hand. Let's see. There's a knock off. Nah. Battle was canceled. Yep, the writing was on the wall. Psychic train was about to end too, so we could have come in and faked out. With Incinera. If they even managed to kill Indiddy. Uh, good game though. Good game. Oh, here's like a here's a fun team. Oh, we're playing Daddy. Okay. Didn't know my dad uh, played. Whimsicott, Incineroar, Venusaur, Duraludon, Clefairy, and Tyranitar. All right. There's probably a sunny day on that uh, Whimsicott if I had to guess, just because of the Venusaur, the Venus Doyce. I love. Uh, a Scavalier in this game. And I kind of want to set Trick Room as soon as possible. So let's leave him DD Reuniclus. Right? No. Uh. Bring Ninetales and bring. No, I don't want to set up. I don't want to set up. In DD Ninetales. And then set up Reuniclus and a Scavalier. The problem with this is that Duraludon can always attack Ninetales. So maybe that's not a problem. Maybe it's okay if Ninetales goes down. We don't need our Incineroar, right? I'm just thinking about if they lead their Tyranitar, then they... At any point in time, they could bring in that Tyranitar and stop us from getting up Aurora Veil. Vale. So maybe Hail wasn't the way to go in this game. 
But let's see. I always second guess myself, and then as soon as things go well, I'm like, I'm a genius. I'm literally the smartest man alive. Horrible outfit, we can all agree. I think we can all agree. Those shirts are really bad. Okay, what I actually anticipate happening here is a sunny day to stop us from setting up Aurora Veil. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go right for a flash or a, a freeze dry into the uh, Duraludon. Maybe they go for Dazzling Gleam and that'd be really cool of them. But maybe they can't. And wouldn't that be just as cool? Uh, oh gosh, I just don't know. The, this, what are the speeds on this? What is, um, oh no, we're going to be faster. We're going to be faster. So the play is actually just to go for helping hand. Nine tails would be faster than Duraludon. Ooh, maybe not after, oh, but it doesn't matter. Even if they go for the, the, we have, we have a focus session. Even if they go for the, um, the, uh, tailwind, we're still going to get a really beefy, uh, freeze dry off on a Pokemon that, uh, doesn't love, uh, there's the sunny day, like I said, so they're stopping Aurora Veil. Not happening, not happening. True, terrible outfit. Thank you, Devin. Okay, freeze dry comes out. Let's see how much this does. I'm interested, I'm excited. Okay, and there's the flash cannon into, yep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're gonna live with our focus sash. And now the question actually does become who's faster, Whimsicott or, um, or Alola Ninetales. Uh, they're 116. And Alola Ninetales is uh, 109. So Whimsicott could kill here. Could kill Ninetales if it has an attacking move. Makes me want to Psychic the Duraludon and Freeze Dry Duraludon just in case. That's my play. They go for the Tailwind. So something's dying here. I don't care how you want to die, Duraludon, but I think Psychic should take it out. And now we can bring in uh, Verena close and get the Trick Room up. Didn't kill. Okay, interesting. Uh, Duraludon gets to go for whatever it wants to. And we went we went into Reunicless so fast, so they have to know what we're trying to do here. It's just going to come down to can Duraludon one hit KO Reunicless. I don't think it's going to max because it's such low HP, so maybe we... I mean, there's no point in follow me. We just got to YOLO. Go for it. If they max, I'll be shocked. Oh, they helping handed. That was smart. That was smart. Sometimes other people are smart too. Unless they miss. Unless they miss. I don't know what that was. But, I mean, that sucks for our opponent. What do you want me to say? We just got bailed out hardcore. Uh, because a helping hand uh, Draco Meteor likely would have killed Reuniclus. Not likely, it would have killed Reuniclus. And we would not have gotten up Trick Room there. Uh, and now a Skyvalier is going to come in and just level the playing field. They might have their uh, their Incineroar. They haven't Dynamaxed either. It's not. This is not like a game that. <laughs> this game is just so far from over. Uh, now it's just like a question of. Okay, are you gonna use what you were just given? Or what? I'm gonna switch hard into a Scavalier here. Uh, and just get the Flash Cannon off. Try to go for Flash Cannon into Whimsicott. We'll probably get redirected here, and that's okay too. Let's 
Clefairy is protect. Okay, I'm glad I did that then. There's the taunt, but you can't taunt in psychic terrain. Didn't your didn't your mother teach you? Okay, so now we can actually do something really fun. If the Clefairy doesn't go for Hmm. We could try to fell Stinger Whimsicott. No, I think the play is to go for Iron Head into Clefairy. And to get big with Reuniclus. And go for the Max Steel Spike. Uh, also into Clefairy. I don't think there's much Whimsicott can do, and I would love to keep Whimsicott alive so that next turn, once Clefairy's gone, we can try to get the Fell Stinger off. Because then a Scavalier would have a turn or two of Trick Room left and be a plus six attack. In case you didn't know what Fell Stinger does. If you can KO a Pokemon with Fell Stinger, you get plus six attack. Maxed out. Clefairy does go for the follow me. Okay. Cannot taunt in Psychic Drain. They must not have an attacking move. Uh, we're just going to take out Clefairy. So we're not going to get to do the Fell Stinger thing, but that's okay. Yeah. The Scavalier doesn't care about EBU lights. Doesn't care at all. Uh, that crit... Probably mattered. I mean, what was Whimsicott sitting at? A good 10% of its health. Super effective move. Uh, the crit was gonna count there. Crit counted. Uh, they no longer have Tailwind. They do only have one more Pokemon left. Really wanted to get the Fell Stinger off. It's the Tyranitar. They're gonna max their Tyranitar here. And, uh, yeah, they're not going to like this Iron Head. This Skyvalier is truly what's going to win the game because, yeah, I mean, we, we're going to win here. I think we win on this turn. A Skyvalier might just kill it. I want to see what happens when they max and how much damage we do. Because then I... A Skyvalier wouldn't kill it, but the Sandstorm special defense boost doesn't matter. It's a physical Iron Head. Reuniclus seems like a balloon. What's up, Mateo? Uh, Reuniclus is, I believe, it's supposed to be like cells. Floating around in a, in a cell. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Okay, so that did way less than I thought it was going to. It's going to pop their weakness policy. But regardless, um, we're going to get a steel spike off. Uh, yeah, either Iron Head or uh, Max Steel Spike is going to kill on the next turn. I hope they went for a rock move into Scavalier, though. I want to see how much it would do. No, they went for the darkness into Arena Close. Not even going to kill, though. Even after the weakness policy. Elgin Guthrie, what's up? Can we do a multi-battle, please? A multi-battle? Are there, like, bots? Are you a bot, Elgin? Because so many people just pop in my chat and they say almost the same exact sentence. And they just sub out, like, can we do a double battle, please? Can we do a battle, please? What is the, what, what are you? Are you a person? Prove your person. Prove yourself. The battle was canceled. Good game against our opponent. We got super lucky at one point uh, because then we would not have had trick room for that game and we would have really had to scramble. Uh, we would have really had to scramble. Elgin is not a robot or not a real person. Elgin's a person. Elgin's a person. Sorry about that, Elgin. Hey, good game. Escavalier is really fun. Uh, if you want to use it, that's the team. 
Uh, I'm pointing the wrong way, aren't I? No, I'm pointing the right way. Use it, it's really fun. It's got a lot going for it and a lot of fun different strategies you can pull off with it. Uh, the most fun of which, I think, is setting up and sweeping with uh, a Scavalier. So, yeah, I hope you like it. And uh, there's the team code. Pokey Paste is in the description as well. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.